11 million in compensatory damages to the parents of six-year-old Jesse Lewis, who was killed with 19 other first graders and six educators in the 2012 Sandy Hook Elementary School shootings in Newtown, Connecticut. Jones faces two more Sandy Hook trials to determine damages later this year, one for parents of a six-year-old boy in an Austin court, and another for eight families in Connecticut. Heslin and Lewis have testified that Jones' constant push of false claims that the shooting was a hoax or staged made the last decade a living hell of death threats, online abuse and unrelenting trauma inflicted by Jones and his followers. After years of false hoax claims, Jones admitted under oath that the shooting was 100% real and even shook hands with the parents. But the bombastic version of Jones was always lurking under the surface or even on full display away from the courthouse. When he came to the courthouse, it was always with the security detail of three or four guards. During one show, Jones said the jury was pulled from a group of people who don't know what planet they live on. She laughed at that. Jones was only slightly less combative in court. She warned Jones' lawyers before it even started that if he tried to turn it into a performance, she would clear the courtroom and shut down the live stream broadcasting the trial to the world. When Jones arrived for Lewis' testimony, Gamble asked if he was chewing gum a violation of a strict rule in her courtroom. Sheds called it his attorney and Dino Raynal several times already. That led to a testy exchange. Jones said he wasn't chewing gum. The bigger the spectacle, the better. Kevin Goldberg, a First Amendment specialist at the Maryland based Freedom Forum, said he found it hard to imagine what Jones might be thinking and what benefit he could derive from his behavior. Monetary sanctions or even post-trial contempt charges are also a possibility. Gamble had to be careful how she handled it all, Covert said. Jones' bizarre behavior is putting the judge in a very difficult box, said Covert. Jones skipped Heslin's testimony when he described for the jury holding his dead son in his arms with the bullet hole through his head. Heslin said he wanted to confront Jones face to face and called his absence the day cowardly. Jones was instead appearing on his daily broadcast. Jones was in the room when Lewis took the stand, sitting barely 10 feet away as she looked directly at him. I know you know that, Lewis said. When Lewis asked Jones if he thought she was an actor, Jones answered no, but was cut off by Gamble who scolded him for speaking out of turn.
they filed a motion for sanctions against them after Jones claimed he was bankrupt, which attorneys dispute, and was off-limits in testimony. Six, 2021, insurrection at the U.S. Capitol had requested those materials and that he intended to give it to them. The January 6 committee first subpoenaed Jones in November, demanding a deposition and documents related to his efforts to spread misinformation about the 2020 election and a rally on the day of the attack. Eleven terror attacks being staged to a fake effort of the United Nations on world depopulation. This, the judge told him, is not your show. Tom reported from Chicago. For more of the AP's coverage of school shootings, https://appnews.